Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're back. It's, yes, we okay, are. So we're back. It's, it's E3's done. So, uh, yeah, it's time for that good old post discussion that we keep talking about in like every video ever. Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're going to talk about for like two seconds. <laughs> two seconds, but we're still alluding to it. Oh, two seconds up? Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but seriously, let's get started. Two seconds up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with the conferences. Oh man, we ha uh, we have a lot to say about this shit. Yeah. Um. Well, I guess because they went first. Um. By the way, we're saving Nintendo the last just because we are. Um. So I guess we'll start off with Microsoft's conference since they're the. Well, actually, no. Um. Since Bethesda went first, let's start with them. Yeah. Um, for their first E3 conference, I actually think it went pretty well, you know. Yeah. All things considered, like that. Uh, one thing I was actually really happy about with Bethesda specifically was that they were actually showing off gameplay. Yes. <laughs> so I, I, like see, a, I see some gameplay like for certain, them. Like a certain conference that we know. <laughs> we'll get to that in a bit. <laughs> But um, oh, yeah, but this but this was this was their first conference, Batista's. Yeah, and they ended up starting out with Doom, which um it doesn't it doesn't look anything like really special, but it at least looks fun. It, it, yeah. it actually looks like it's capturing the spirit of like old it was getting as close to you know, classic Doom as you can probably get it. Yeah, not too long ago, and not too long ago, I was saying that I'm not really into Doom, but I'm thinking about giving this one a try. You get to go around shooting demons. Yes. By the way, that, the end of that trailer, man. <clears throat> yeah, you know, the guy just the guy just gets his arms ripped off by that thing. And then oh just... yeah, that that disturbed the fuck out of me. <laughs> people don't rip other people's arms off. <laughs> 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 oh, it can be painful trying to rip well ripping all someone's arms yeah it's gonna hurt like hell yeah well, especially when you get both arms ripped off yeah you're pretty much you're pretty much useless well you got your legs you use that's about hey that it. thing hey i think i know what was going on that thing was trying to be Jax from mortal kombat 2 oh <laughs> yeah he ripped, people, he ripped people arms off all the time <sighs> And even though Shao Kahn says fatality, they don't actually die. They just stand there. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like a brutality. Just want to sit there, stand there, and suffer to suffer the death. Go right ahead. <laughs> Make my day. That's okay, Shang Tsung. We'll put them back on later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, but, and... yeah, that, that happened. Um, yeah, next. And they announced uh, the uh, dis designer for the PS4. The definite, the def definite, definitive, definitive edition. edition. Then they announced Dishonored 2, which uh, I, I was looking at those. I just wasn't interested. I was never interested in the first one. Well, I didn't even know really about the first one. Me. Um, but then I see this. I'm just like, what is this supposed to be? I played only a little bit of the first one, but the only reason I had because it was free for Xbox Live Gold members for a bit. Ah. Uh, but um, yeah. So that really didn't capture my attention. I didn't. I don't remember seeing much of Battle Cry if they did at all. And then they had Elder Scrolls Online, Tamriel Unlimited. <laughs> eh. Is this just supposed to be a port of Elder Scrolls Online? I don't even. I'm not. I'm not. I wasn't even into that game. I never I got into it either. either. I wouldn't know either. Mm. So I guess we just get that part. And then we had Elder Scrolls Legends on iOS and PC. Got to have our card games. Jeez. Not into that. <laughs> not interested. Oh, and they and announced the Fallout Shelter. Well, that was during Fallout 4, but speaking of that, that game looks freaking awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was. So, I'm actually really looking forward to that. 
actually looks like it'd be a good game. And I, I like the fact that you can actually like build your own settlements and everything. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. They actually had a they have they have a level editor in Doom. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, you can actually create levels with like and like make the rules and everything. Yeah, that's badass. That's awesome. Something that something that Call of Duty would never think of. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> You guys need me to try that for once, see that can make it better. <laughs> and, and we have uh, we have Halo for that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, Halo's. Uh, well, they they have like they have like they have like they have like a semi-creating mode because I know like in like Halo Four or Three they made Griff Ball from Red vs. Blue. <laughs> yeah, Halo, Halo Three started the uh, Griff Ball series. <laughs> that game actually looks fun. It is fun. You can just go over, go around the uh, arena and just beat the shit out of people. Those gravity hammers and no, no, you beat the shit out of Griff. Because <laughs> <laughs> whoever picks up the ball becomes Griff. Yep. <laughs> this is the best game since itself. <laughs> uh, good times. Uh. But um, yeah, Fallout looks really good, so you know, good on them. Mm-hmm. So they they had a, they had a really solid conference, probably one of the best ones of this entire event, really. Yeah, it was. It does It it wasn't that bad at all. Better than some of the other shit we're gonna be seeing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, time for good old Microsoft, and they actually didn't have like a. They didn't. Have, <laughs> they did not have a terrible conference. It was solid, but the the problem was that they didn't have, um, too many interesting things. Yeah. I mean, they were actually showing games and actual they, gameplay for the most part. But they, but they've done something very unexpected that you wouldn't see coming. Like, yeah, they, they they did backwards compatibility for the Xbox One. But the but the sad thing is that uh well the downfall about it is that that when you uh put the 360 in the Xbox One, it, it's going to install it, meaning that it's not going to read the disc. You have to download it digitally, and that and and they will charge us charge your hard drive your hard drive for it. Jeez. Yes. Just... I don't know how big those games can get, but you charge your hard drive. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, as in, as in, as in it space. Just goes in there. Okay, pay up hard as drive. In, <laughs> as in, as in a gigabyte, gigabyte space, so, or megabyte space, so acquire, or KP. It'll acquire a small fee. <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, you know, there was only a couple things that really looked okay from Microsoft. Um, I didn't see any Killer Instinct, so I'll know. The yeah. only thing that oh, go ahead. Um, one of the few things that caught my attention um, was Recore, but even then, that was only CG. I mean, I guess the concept is interesting because you basically put cores in like um, dead machines, which then like basically brings them back. And it's like it's like basically your companion because like um, the girl in the trailer had like this robotic dog. It got destroyed, but the core was still there. So she put it inside of a larger body, which brought the thing back to life with the dog's like memory and programming in it still. Interesting. Yeah. And I think it's being made by Retro just because they were like from the creators of Metroid Prime. <laughs> I see. I see. So I'm surprised I was actually there because you know, that's not what that's not something you'd you'd think that they'd show considering that that was a Nintendo uh, name they flashed on screen. But <laughs> yeah. Um. I, I guess Gears of War Four looked okay. Not really uh, into a Gears of War honestly, so I can't really say much. Yeah, same here. Um, this this one looked more like survival horror, from what I could tell. Unless I was thinking of something else, but I'm pretty sure it was that. Okay. Um. It's a change, but I mean, it's something different. 
Fable Legends. I could not tell you that that was Fable Legends because it looked nothing like it did last <laughs> year. <laughs> that bad? I don't know. I, just, I was looking at some of the um, stuff and it's just like, am I looking at Disney Infinity or Fable? <laughs> Good question. Yeah. Because then, like, at the end of it, it flashed Fable Legends. I'm like, that was Fable Legends? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Now I got a real question. Uh, I was looking for what? The only game that interested me in Microsoft was uh was the Rise of the Tomb Raider. Obviously. And I almost and I almost I almost said Rise of Lair, Rick. <laughs> Shit. Um. I must have not uh, watched much of the Microsoft press conference because I do not remember half this stuff. They had, they had the rare replay thing there. Yeah. You didn't really miss much, BSL. Rare replay. It, it was just meh. Um. Basically, a shit ton of rare games. Basically, they're um, they're releasing for it. Oh so, yeah, like, you're getting, oh, yeah they're, you're getting... they're doing the um the rare collection that has Banjo Kazooie in it. And Congress Bad Fur Day. Yeah, but which one? Is that going to be the 64 one or Reloaded? Oh, I, oh, I heard you guys talking about that. That's right. <coughs> Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Kazooie, Congress Bad Fur Day, uh, Jet, Jet Force Gemini. Hopefully they'll that. That, uh Perfect Dark, um, Battletoads is in there. Hopefully they'll do the yeah. right one. They'll do like, like the first two. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie. Oh. Banjo-Kazooie. No, those, no, those, are, those are in there, but Nuts and Bolts is in there, too. So basically, you're getting yeah. all of that. Ugh, Nuts and Bolts was terrible, though. It is. That's all gameplay's up in. It, it, it does not look promising. Has jetpack. The Nuts and Bolts game was terrible. So, I'm pretty I, sure it's fine as its own game, but the thing is, it's not a good Banjo-Kazooie game. Yeah, that's, that's just it, yeah. Battletoads what? Arcade. Was there one you showed me before, BSL, that kind of looked like Banjo Kazooie? In a way? You mean, uh, it's a ukulele? That's it, yeah. That's a successor. What's funny about that, that's actually a bunch of uh, former Rare employees making that game. I was kind of curious about trying to look into that game one day. There's a Kickstarter for it. I don't know if it's still going, but I'm, I know they reached the funds, I think. Oh, okay. But then we had Halo 5 Guardians. Yay, Halo. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I would be thrilled about it, but uh, yeah, not too thrilled, because like I said, I, I, I retire from Halo. <laughs> that, tr that, that, that gameplay just did not look that interesting. It's just, it's just Halo. Yeah. <laughs> so they, Same yeah. shit we've been getting since the first game. <laughs> I don't know why it'll come more, every, like Call of Duty. <laughs> just more. He eh, said duty. Um, you, uh, oh. It's no, <laughs> just had to. Um, Awful. It, it's just more Master Chief, basically, and now someone is uh, hunting after him. Or uh, he's the hunter, and Master Chief's the hunted. So, hey, look, it's backwards now. So uh, you're pretty much uh, you can play either. I, I believe you can play either story and learn from. Like from Hazard Chief's side or that other guy's uh, side of the story. Just see how it all plays out. So that's pretty much, I think, it. So if you're really into Halo, that, that'd be your game, but uh, I'm retired from it. Retirement. <laughs> that's also interesting in uh, the Halo series. I, I Aren't you separate. a little young for retirement? <laughs> not, not when it comes to video games. I just I quit at the Halo Four. I started playing Halo in two thousand eight, and I now stopped around two when um when when four came out, like around twenty thirteen, I think. Yeah. I stopped after two. <laughs> <laughs> I never played the first two. I went round to three. Uh, the first two are okay, I guess, but I played three. Um, it was another one I played, but I didn't really care for it that much. I remember you tend to do a less play of one of them. 
I did. I took it down because of copyrights. I was worried about it back then or earlier in the days, but... Oh, yeah, same here. Those were the days. Honestly, I never played past Reach. <clears throat> Reach was a playthrough I did. What was Reach about, exactly? It was about... It's like the five or six of the Spartans, so... It was, I forgot the, their group name, what it was called. But they're just kind of... They're trying to take down the el the elites. Or they're trying to take down the Covenant. And I remember it was down to the one guy who... uh, The new recruit that uh, joined them. He was like the last one. And he fought them off until... It ended. And I think he dies at the very end of it. Huh. The, the one thing I did like... So cool was uh that his the his uh his mask did kind of the glass of it the glass on his mask did crack and I thought first like oh did my TV break or something or did the game break but I like, no there was actually a cracked mirror on there while you're trying to look around and fight the enemies so I'm like oh that's pretty cool but that's the best I can remember it's been a long time since I played Halo Reach I've never played it it's okay and. Halo, like I said, Halo 4 was the last score I stopped in. I, it was a little better, but I kind of just lost interest in it afterwards. But uh, let's uh, keep going. Yeah. Um. Well, they had Forza, but I don't, rem I don't remember seeing too much of that. If we did it all. Uh, you got me. Oh, and there's oh 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 wow! I'm looking at the wrong conference. Okay, good job. <laughs> there's, <laughs> hey, right. <laughs> All right, there, there there's, there's going to be a Dark Souls three. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're talking about Namco now. Yeah, it's under the Microsoft. Only thing, the only thing that I that even caught my attention from them, and I didn't even play the first one, is a project uh is Project X Zone two. <laughs> it just went silent all of a sudden. Yeah. I was like, hey, Michael, say something? Bastards. Yeah. As I said, Microsoft was kind of mad at me. Well, no, at that point, no, at that point, I'm talking about just Namco specifically. Yeah. Uh, okay. But, um, yeah, Microsoft, though, overall solid, but there's just not really much there of interest. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, but it wasn't a, you know, terrible conference. So, I mean, I, I can only say that for them. Yeah, I knew I was going to it, but I had to watch it anyway, just so I could find something to talk about. But look how it turned out for me. <laughs> All right, let's get to the dreaded EA. Uh, but there's only one particular game I'm hyped for, ironically. There, there's... Um, okay, well, if I played Mirror's Edge, I'd probably be more excited for uh, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, but there's only, like, two games that caught my attention from them, and that was Battlefront and, uh, freaking... Yeah, Unfrapped. that one. Man, it started raining hard up here. <laughs> Shit, okay. But, um, okay, one issue that plagued EA and it extended to another conference. Too much talking. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that conference was boring. Oh, just wait till we get to the other conference. <laughs> Cause like, there's like a lot of points where it's like they're talking about the game, and it's like, okay, that's fine. How about you shut up and show us the game instead? <laughs> oh, when, oh, when I was little, this something inspired me, so I created a video game out of it because. It turned me on so long. Man, who cares? Show us the fucking video game. No, I mean, game. for Unravel, I mean, that's okay, I guess, because it started off, I think, as, like, an independent thing that EA picked up. And, like, that's fine, but it's like, don't spend too long on it. How about you show us the damn game? Yeah, don't know if I want to hear of, what you did a long time ago, what inspired you, why so you like created I said, I don't game. mind that, but it's like, my issue is don't spend too long on it. Exactly. Like, just make it, make it brief. And then just get to the game. Right. So, I mean, you know. 
I mean, it's cool that he got, you know, just from being in the outdoors and just playing with some yarn. That's basically how this came about. And, you know, that's that's fine. But at the same time, he spent like a good while talking about it. So it's like that. Those are kind of those, those things you need to keep sort of brief, you know, because otherwise you're just going to end up boring the audience. Yeah, that's why it lasted for over an hour. <laughs> but I mean, Unravel looks like a good game. Yeah, it does. It's, pr it's pretty much like Kirby's epic yarn in uh, Yoshi Yoshi's Woolly World. Oh. Well, in terms of the art direction, not in terms of how it's going to play. Oh, okay. Though, because of, like, um, at one point you see the character swinging across things, then I guess in that regard it's kind of like epic yarn. Yes. But, um... <sighs> They were really, they really wanted to hammer in uh, Plants vs. Zombies uh, Garden Warfare during that conference, I swear. Every time I see Garden Warfare 2, I keep thinking it says Modern Warfare 2. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, but, that's um, a Call of Duty game. <laughs> um, I don't know how I should feel about that game. Cause it, how do you go from... You know, basically a mobile phone game where you're just like setting up defenses to keep zombies away to what? A, essentially a third person shooter. Like, how do you how do you do that? I don't even know. What? I'm not kidding. That's what happened. Pretty much. <laughs> what? Oh like, how do you go from that to this? What the, what the fuck? Oh, by the way, one of the things I got like one of the most deadpan reactions ever was Minions Paradise. <laughs> <laughs> that shit got no reaction. Minions Paradise, what's that? It's an it's a it's a mobile game. <sighs> but like there was just no fucks given. <laughs> Minions Paradise, that sounds unfamiliar. The minions from Despicable Me. Okay, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> No. Yeah, it just no one cared. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Damn. That's comedy right there. That's hilarious. <laughs> and you um, guys don't even give a damn what's that's hilarious. Well, that, that's really nice to hear. Alright. Oh yeah, and and he announced another Madden game. Yay. Madden is all sixteen. Well, moving on. Yeah, then they have, then they have like I'm sure I'm Madden. By the way, they sh how long did they spend interviewing Pele? Pele? Oh, yeah. Hey. Soccer player. But, like, they spent a good while interviewing him and not talking about the game. It's like, okay, you know. <laughs> well, that's... that's... <laughs> I'm not, I don't watch soccer just because I really don't care too much. Um, but it's like, okay, I'm sure the guy's done... Well, even I read up on the Wikipedia page, like the guy's done great for soccer, but it's like, where's the game? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll talk more about the game. Yeah, sure, talk about him and all, but you know, make time to talk about the game. Don't just talk about him. Got the whole freaking uh, segment. Jeez. Was he like? Well, no, he's basically. What was he supposed to like have his own game like a couple e threes ago? I don't know. I know he had like something for the Atari back in like the fucking eighties, but Damn. <laughs> <It was Pele>. <laughs> <laughs> let me guess the round one. <laughs> round one. Yeah, they spent like a good twenty, twenty five minutes interviewing this dude and not talking about the game. He's he's basically just up there talking about how great soccer is. It's like okay, that's fine. Where's the game? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's yeah, that cop is so bad. That's fine. We get to learn more about it now. Why about the game? <laughs> How about we talk about the game too while we're at it? I mean, you're great, though, no, but I, I want to hear more about the game too. <laughs> um, Star Wars: The Old Republic. Hi, CG trailers. <laughs> <laughs> Did they show gameplay for it? No, it was all CG. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, 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 uh, <laughs> yeah, they did. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't remember too much about EA Conference because it, it was just bad. If it's that bad, I don't give a shit about it. Like, what the fuck? And then, then there was the main event. Well, well, there was Need for Speed in which, I, I don't know, that looks okay, but I don't know, it's not for me. 
But uh, Star Wars Battlefront, that looks good. Yes, it does. That's good to know. Like it, 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 it looks like a, you know, just a really good Star Wars game. It's like you know, you get, you get to control the giant walkers. You get to control like you know, freaking, uh, X wings and shit. You get to use the lightsaber at one point. It's yeah. like it has it all. Oh, uh, we should th- we should think up uh, NBA Live 16. Don't care. <laughs> yeah, I ret- I retired from that game also. Last one I played was uh, damn like I think it was NBA Live 10. Yep, it was. It was 2010. <laughs> but um, um, overall thoughts on the conference though, guys. It was it was just bad, except for Star Wars Battlefront. Onwards. Very, what? Onwards. <laughs> Very dull conference. Okay, who was who was after that? Oh, Ubisoft. <laughs> uh. You know, surprisingly, they had a good conference, but the problem was too many shooters. <laughs> yes. The only thing I enjoyed like, was... Who could tell all those Tom Clancy games apart? They looked exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing I enjoyed was they announced a new South Park game, which is a sequel to the stick of truth called South Park the Fracture Butthole. Uh, and uh, for um, um, excuse me? What the hell the name was that? <laughs> South Park the Fractured Butthole. <laughs> <laughs> I, I butthole as in B U T W H O U O L E. The Fractured yeah, it's- Butthole. <laughs> Yeah, but they obviously didn't want to go for that kind of wording. <laughs> what? The, what yeah. the fuck? I don't just care for that just because I don't. I'm not. I'm not a South Park guy. But um, one thing that caught my attention was For Honor, which that that one looks okay. Yeah, it's the gory one, which I like. Oh jeez. Yeah, I was watching a podcast after afterwards. Yeah. And the, one what? of the guys also compared it to Dynasty Warriors. I'm like, why is this? Comp- why are you comparing this to Dynasty Warriors? It doesn't look <laughs> anything alike. I haven't, I haven't did that oh, too. <laughs> it, while, while we was watching, I was like, oh my god, this reminds me of Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> yeah, but it, this doesn't look like you're destroying thousands of enemies at a time, though. Yeah, you're just stabbing somebody's like neck one, off this like shit. Like at one point, like they got into like some one-on-one duels, which those looked fun. Yeah. Because like you actually have to try to like knock your opponent like off balance in order to get like an attack in and try to like break the defense and shit. So I mean that looked fine. But um, uh, who remembers that musical segment during uh, I think it was the Just Dance announcement? Who remembers oh, that? Uh, oh, I I did not I did not watch it. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Didn't Pippi saw a stock drop? Or something like that when they showed that. I didn't care too much about that I song. Like, I don't what? know. I don't care. That performance though was just. Why is this here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just, I was just look I was just looking on me first real fast at the time he was singing <laughs> and dancing. <laughs> I'm like that okay. Part of, that I'll... part of the conference. That's your piss break right there. <laughs> yeah. See, who, who's singing and dancing on E3 conference? I don't remember who it was. I didn't care though. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> actually, I actually it's turned. It's never my... been there. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, again, more CG goodness. Assassin's Creed. Yeah, hey, hey Assassin's Creed. <laughs> hey, let's have an assassin walk into a bar and beat the shit out of people. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's fight. the problem. That's the problem. with showing so many dev scenes on the trailers. That's all they want to show is just dev. Yeah. A, a lot. A hundred percent chance of dev. Yes. Uh, who, who's get, who's kind of getting sick of like these year, yearly releases from Assassin's Creed? I am. Ah, uh, yeah, it's getting pretty annoying. Yeah. I, I was just, I was just not a Assassin's Creed person. It's the same fucking shit. The other problem is that they're kind of just declining in quality because, you know, they're just... 
they release it every year. That's not enough time to make sure that the game is, you know, as good as it can be. See, they're, now, kind of, they're kind of rushing it too fast. Yeah, yeah, now, why, now watch that game get all That's buggy. one reason why I give Compile Heart so much crap is because yeah, they push... Uh, I'll tell you right uh, now, I agree with you, though, on it. They push out games way too quick. I admit, they put they push the Tunia games out too quick. They need to ease up on it. I admit that. <laughs> Like, we've got a game from them every year since the first game came out. They yeah, got about, I mean, like, for this year, they got about maybe, like, five, well, six games already out in, like, the first six months. <clears throat> and it's mostly all... Okay, well, granted, games. some of those were remakes, but... Re uh, <clears throat> uh, one uh, one or two were remakes. Everything else was... Uh, but it's like, you guys just need to let up and just yeah, that's put some... More development time, because then you know. Hey, that's why. That's why your game. That's why your games keep getting buggy. Look at Advanced Warfare. That game is buggy as fuck. Well, that's also why I brought up Unity. Um, <laughs> sometime off. It was like a few days ago or something, because like, there was one point where the faces glitched out completely in Unity. <laughs> God and you just damn. had eyeballs and teeth floating around, and it's like you think you're playing a survival horror game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> See, I, I stopped playing Advanced Warfare because cause the game keeps on crashing. I did some research, and it's the game. The game itself. Hey, look, it's, just like, it's, it's just like Skyrim when it keeps crashing. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, I rage quit Advanced Warfare, so that game can go fuck itself. I quit the Modern Warfare 2, so there. <laughs> That's the only one I played 2. But, um... Overall thoughts on Ubisoft? Uh, I got nothing. <laughs> but South Park, the fashionable hole. But that's it. B U T W H O L E. The name is so stupid. The name is so stupid, but. So All those stupid. games just blended in. Like, I could not tell you one game from another with those games. Like, they all looked exactly the same. But I'm, and, and, and I'm still going to try out for honor, so. Well, For Honor was probably one of the best looking things they had during that conference. Yeah, two <clears> out of fucking uh, five or eight <laughs> games they announced. <clears throat> what the hell? I mean, it's better than the it's be, it's been it's better than their past years to be sure, but it still wasn't like amazing at the very least. Nope, it wasn't. Okay, on to Sony. <clears throat> yeah, okay. And no Neptunia related. That's we'll say no it right that, now. It's no surprise. Well, so that I'm wouldn't not, even be in Sony's freaking conference. I'm not. It, it'd be NIS America or Compound Heart, but I had no yeah. surprise that there wouldn't have been up there anyway. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, let's uh, start. Um. Okay. So it starts out where they 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 showed off uh, the Last Guardian. Looks pretty damn awesome. What yeah. is that game supposed to be? Because, like, I was getting a lot of, um... Just because of the way the game worked, I was getting a lot of, um... Shadow of the Colossus vibes from it. I kind of saw it as, <laughs> as, as a never-ending story because of that big-ass dog. <laughs> that freaked me out. Yeah, I jumped, I jumped out of my seat when I saw that dog bash through the fucking wall. Like, holy shit! That fucking dog scared the shit out of me. <laughs> That's my reaction uh, right there. I, I just don't know what that game is supposed to be. Me neither. I guess we'll find out when the game comes out. We saw no gameplay, so that's for damn sure. No, that was game. That was, was gameplay. Game oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was gameplay. No, I, I, yeah, I just looked that up. There was gameplay, but it's just that I don't know what it is. Yeah. Just learn more about it when it comes out. So. I mean, it, it looks pretty, but it's like, I don't know what this is supposed to be. I'm gonna say right now, they better not kill that dog in that game. Well, I'm gonna burn him to the ground if they kill that fucking dog. Um, okay, that's needlessly violent. Anyway. Dude, I hate seeing animals getting killed off. What would you do? Um. Silently bitch about it, then go, then get on with it. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh, uh, guess what uh, got announced at that conference, and then they decided to show it again at Square's conference. Oh, Final, uh, Final Fantasy, Fantasy VII, VII remake. remake. But no gameplay. No, nope, all CG. Back. All CG. 
Yeah, the only show Cloud. Look at Cloud's is... glorious sword. It has texture. Yes. And it's shiny. Shiny? What's shiny? That makes no sense, anyway. I know. Uh, and before um, the cutscene, someone not look awesome, and it looks just like it did on the PlayStation. One. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't, what do you guys think they're going to do with that? Uh, change the battle system, make it like Final Fantasy XV. Mm. I, mean, I, know, I guess if it, I guess if it wanted to be a faithful remake, they'd stick with turn-based. Yeah, I think they're gonna take the turn base out. I can see it coming. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was one of the things that actually got a reaction during even the, my during this well, event. Even my real life friend, she's hyped for it as well. Cause that's her favorite game. Um. Oh, then they announced the Kickstarter for Shenmue Three, which got funded completely in like not even two hours. I'm not even heard of Shen uh Shenmue Three or Shenmue One and Two. Yeah, I never heard of Shenmue at all. My friend has. She's a she's also a huge fan of it. Hmm. Huh. I've heard of them, haven't seen much on, of them, but it used to be on, it's on the uh, Dreamcast, the first. No, I know, I, I know that at least. But um, yeah, that that was just insane. How it reached like a million something in like not even two hours. That was just crazy. Oh, <laughs> did you hear? The, did you hear the man uh, call Luke Skywalker Sky uh, Luke Skywaters? No. <laughs> yep, he did, and no one and no one only has caught it. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I left at one point, so I don't think I caught that. <laughs> so um, I didn't completely see their conference. In fact, but, but when I came back, I actually ended up seeing the thing for Shenmue and then Uncharted Four. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and guess what else got announced? No, well. I'm the only one in this group chat is uh is a uh, hype for it. Call of Duty Black Ops Three. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we can't say much about it because no one cares. You can if you want. This conference this time. <clears throat> so you can what if happened? you want. That's about it. What about Sony's conference? Don't they usually show Call of Duty in Microsoft's conference most of the time? No, I they don't. Think. They only showed in, they only showed Call of Duty in the uh, Sony, not Microsoft. I'm surprised. They, I thought they normally show Microsoft. I'm huh? sure they didn't. So that oh yeah, and, and, and that pretty means that uh that Black Ops Three is gonna be on Sony first. So that's another time exclusive, just like the rest of. Uh, no, I'm on the I'm on the wiki page and I'm seeing that Black Ops Three is on everything that's not the Wii U. Huh. Hmm. But I heard, I heard it's gonna be on Sony first, then on Microsoft. I doubt that. It kind of just depends on who decides to showcase it. At that yeah. point. Ah. Um. And what you think of Uncharted Four: A Thief's End? I saw a little bit of it, and I don't <laughs> you know. know. I started. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the devil got fucked up. Like I said, I was gone what? for part of that, but yeah, I heard that what happened was that the demo crashed during yeah. it and they had to restart demo. it. Oh, you said demo. For some reason, I just said the devil screwed up. I was like, wait, what? No, the, wait, demo, wait, wait. the demo crashed during the oh. during the event, so they had oh. to restart it. I was like, where the hell did the devil appear in E3 all of a sudden? Because at first, at first I, thought, I thought it was my stream fucking up. But that was a demo. <laughs> okay, well that's early. I'm like, hello, what the fuck wrong with my stream? Why the man's not moving? What is this? <laughs> For a little while, I really, I honestly thought it was intentional. <laughs> yeah, you know, I heard there was a theory. I heard someone say that they thought it was because it didn't get that much of a reaction. But so it said, "Fuck it, let's restart it." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the problem is that they couldn't they couldn't skip the cutscene, so they that they, they had to watch it again. <laughs> so, 
um, thoughts on Sony, guys? It was pretty good. I'll just say. It wasn't it wasn't disappointing, I'm gonna say that right now. But they 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 did pretty good. I went my trying out the Final Fantasy Seven remake. Definitely Uncharted 4, Thieves, and I'm, so, I'm still fucking hyped for that game. And I, I want to give uh, The Last Guardian a try. Hmm. And I would Black try Ops that 2. game just because I'm curious as to what it is. So. Um, what about you, BSL? What what did you think of it? I thought it was a pretty nice conference. Aside from demo crashes. <laughs> uh, yeah, that. <laughs> that happened. Yeah. Uh, all right, time for easily the worst conference there. Square Enix. Boo. <laughs> but, but the only thing they got right was showing Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer. But the downfall about... Well, it's not really a downfall... It's a, oh, it's a oh, development. Remember that tr that troll moment where they were like, "We're gonna show you Kingdom Hearts," and then they show the um, iOS game. Oh, what's it called? Kingdom Hearts uh, Unchained, some shit like that. Yeah, Unchained. Yeah, I was like, "Oh my god, you trolls!" Because <laughs> <laughs> they're like, "We're gonna show you Kingdom Hearts," and then it's a mobile game. I'm just like, "Wow." Wow. <laughs> <laughs> And then they show Kingdom Hearts 3 immediately after. I was like, wow, you... But that game, not, uh, the mobile game, that got no reaction whatsoever. No, it, it don't look all that great. That was the most dead I've ever heard the audience during this entire E3. Like, just, yes. there was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no. So... Um, I thought that was funny just because I'm like, wow, th this is getting no reaction whatsoever. I'm like, wow, you guys just pissed everyone off. <laughs> we would have did, showed... did a lot of reaction, but I don't trust my fucking internet. <laughs> and then they showed Kingdom Hearts 3, which actually looks really good. Yes. Indeed. They did show the trailer and, and, and gameplay combined. Uh, one thing I noticed was that for the um, sections that they were showing, like the world is very open. I've noticed, yes. like really, like really big. Because at one point you see Sora like jump off a cliff. Yeah. Oh, I, I like I like his clothes in that one. What's that right now? And supposedly there was a moment where they didn't render his feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, oh, I, I also recognized uh, Twilight Town in that one area he was in. I didn't. One thing I'm hoping, though, I'm hoping they don't have, like, the 2D lip movements from the first two games where it's like, oh, um... Oh, oh. oh, yeah. I think I know what lip sync you're talking about. Yeah, because, like, there's certain cuts in, in like, 2 and 1 where it's, like, it's fully animated, but then there's, like, times where it's, like, a 2D sprite that's just moving. Yeah. Um, and smiling the entire time. I'm, I, I I hate those lip movements. I'm hoping they're not in this one. Same here. I mean, I yeah, can, I even though, even though they... Why it happens when they don't need to, but it's, like, I think this is a case where they, they should just do full-on lip movements and just sync it correctly. Okay. I don't think they I don't think they explain the plot in the trailer, but there's but uh what have what's supposed to have in Kingdom Hearts three is that Sora is supposed to go face to face with uh with Sayonort. So he's a so he's a guy who's behind everything. Speaking of that trailer, I thought they were gonna um <clears throat> piss everyone off further by just showing those two guys talking and playing chess. Yeah. <laughs> just chess. King Kingdom Hearts three, the chess edition. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what they were going to do and just, like, piss everyone off, but then they showed gameplay. I'm like, oh, you guys actually want to be smart this time, do you? Yeah. <laughs> but then we find out it's still in development, as it said two years ago. <laughs> yeah, but at least they showed something off, so I'm at least happy yeah. they're doing that. So, so it's most likely going to come out in 2019. I doubt it's going to take four more years, because that's ridiculous. I know, man. It's like shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Oh, they showed off the Final Fantasy VII Remake trailer again during that yeah. conference. That, did, yeah. that did not get any reaction at all. Like people were yeah, just yeah, because everyone has seen, everyone already seen it. Everyone was just kind of like, eh. It's just Cloud's back. <laughs> I thought they were gonna show off some like gameplay this time, but no, it was the same trailer. I know, like, what the hell, man? Oh, by the way, did someone notice that the like the translator wasn't there at one point? Oh, I didn't notice. Cause the I, guy was I, talking in Japanese, but the translator wasn't there, so everyone was like, "Did the translator fall asleep?" Oh, oh yeah, I know. Oh yeah, I know. Oh yeah, I know. It, it was at the <laughs> very beginning, the very beginning. <laughs> the I'm the like, what the fuck is he saying? The translator this- doesn't exist. <laughs> And it showed Rasa Tomb Raider again. This time they were showing behind the scenes. Like, what the hell, man? I don't want to see no behind the scenes. You will like our graphics. <laughs> Dude, say that for the special feature in the fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just showing off the models. <laughs> yeah. Dude, show that in the fucking ga- in the freaking game when it comes out. Not on E3. I want to see gameplays of it. That's basically what that was. You will like our graphics because we're going to talk about our graphics. <laughs> this is what it's going to look re- like when snowflakes fall. <laughs> I'm like, uh, can you just show us the trailer or the gameplay? Why are we? Why are we making us watch behind the scenes crap like it's a fucking DVD movie? Oh, they could just include that. On a, well, actually, no. They'd probably have enough disc to include that with the game, rather than just on a separate disc. <laughs> But still, it's like, we don't want to see this. Yeah, that's great. It's kind of which is plain as boring. They also had a new Hitman game. <clears throat> he, he, he kind of looked like Slender for some reason. But with the face. Actually, you know what's strange? 47 looks uh, younger in this game than it did in Absolution. <clears throat> <clears throat> Which is much about Hitman. Um, you you, I don't know how to explain it because um, I've only played Absolution, but I've seen the other ones at least. Basically, it's just kind of like um, <clears throat> carry out the contract however you see fit. You know, stealthy, guns blazing, being you know Rambo in a fancy suit. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and uh, Just Cause 3. Well, I don't remember anything about that. And then Behavior. Deus Ex, like, I only saw a picture on the freaking screen. They might and have showed Just Cause 3 when my stream fucked up. <laughs> no, I tuned out of Square a couple times, but then I, I was seeing Deus Ex, and I was only seeing, like, a picture on screen, and then that was it. They were just talking about it, from what I remember of it. <clears throat> yeah. So, um... Yeah, overall, this was the weakest conference, I think. <clears throat> uh, oh, if you guys wonder why we're not talking the, about the PC the... gaming show, because we won't give a shit about it. <laughs> I didn't even see that, but um, one last thing about Square. Boring as shit. <laughs> yes, so it was. That was the conference where you would literally take a nap for that two hours <laughs> that they were there. I know. And, wow. and you let Ubisoft <laughs> kick your. I mean, you let uh, Ubisoft kick your ass. It's like, seriously, I could have taken a nap, ordered a pizza, yeah. <laughs> and did so many other things in the time that they were doing all this because they were just talking nonstop. It was so. Or boring. I would. Or I would have done a magic. Recording of my Sonic 06 raw videos, and they still talking. Celtics, you could have finished Sonic 06 in the time it took for that shit to finish. <laughs> <laughs> I can watch a few uh, anime episodes while they're while they're still talking. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst one by far. Just screw that conference. <laughs> but don't so they, 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 they got right think I had Twitter three. It's a good thing I had Twitter to keep me entertained because Ted was entertaining me with his tweets. That shit was funny. 
I was just looking up on me verse. Just ugh, so dull. Oh man, <laughs> worst conference by far. Okay, Square Enix. Next time, if you want to host a conference next year, please don't make it all bland out or boring. He just looked like they were not prepared for this. <laughs> like they just sort of came out there and then just like had nothing to show. Oh, and, 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 oh, and, and, and y'all didn't even show the freaking uh, Final Fantasy 15. Hmm. I think that was just a trailer, from what I remember. It was just CG. Again. They never explained. They, 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 just, they just did it straight out show the Final Fantasy 15 trailer. Like they kind of implied they would. Worst conference by far. <laughs> I think everyone can agree on this. Like, um, it's supposed, supposed to come out uh, in 2016, I think. That was, a, that was another. That was, that was one thing. Uh, well, I'll get into that later. But um, all right, now we're on to uh, good old Nintendo. Yeah, so we actually talk about. <laughs> yeah, Ryza can actually talk now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all I right, didn't... let's start with let's start with that Nintendo World Championships. Loved it. Me too. I loved Absolutely every loved second it. of it. It's awesome. The only thing I missed was them racing the freaking uh, Zelda, the Zelda race. Because I, I had to go to the store real fast before it closed. Oh. They were just racing the first dungeon in Zelda 1. That was it. Hm. Yeah. I did yeah, I did enjoy the Splatoon hm. once. <laughs> that was cool. Um, Blast Ball was unexpected. <laughs> I, I didn't pay attention to this blast ball because I couldn't really get into it. It looks fun. It, you know, it's basically, you're playing soccer, but with laser guns. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, I the, did, what I did with George was uh, Super Mario Maker. We'll save that, that, really we'll save that in a minute. But um, uh, What else was there? Okay, yeah, what else? It was uh, Balloon Fight. Yeah, balloon fight. Yeah, I Man. like how they structured it because like there was a top bracket and then the uh, underworld bracket. <laughs> Where it's like the loser, the losers from the top bracket, basically the um, eight people who lost. I think it was like the eight people. No, how many people? No, four people. Wait, six or four? Help me out here. Was oh, it six man. that went to the underground from Splatoon? I think it was. Yeah, and yeah, then they I competed in Zelda. And then yeah, whoever won from that went to the next uh, underground bra uh, underground match, which was Super Metroid. And then Balloon Fight was after that, I think. By the way, with the Super Metroid, it seemed like everyone's trying to f figure out because I think they like kept pressing wrong buttons or something like that, and they kept opening up oh, the, the virtual oh, that was menu. Um, I think that was a uh, BSG who kept pressing the um, save state button and going oh, to that, the save state menu. Oh, I thought you talked about this one guy that tried to get the. Mother Brain's glass open because he had the because he was trying to shoot with the uh, with the regular with the regular laser when he needed missile to break the fucking glass. I forgot who won that. Was that Sinister One who won that? Yeah, I think it was. I think so. But um, yeah, um, I think almost everyone died during that round too. <laughs> yeah, but it was that one guy who, who couldn't figure out how to beat Mother Brain when 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 the when the lady already. Even, told them how they beat them. Yeah, so that was interesting, and then um, Balloon Fight was actually pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, that make you get eat by the fish. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, the fish is there. Huh. <laughs> because the fish. <laughs> <clears throat> um, <clears throat> yo, um, I'm, I was surprised. Um, it was it was actually uh, close between uh, I think it was Cosmo and Ego Raptor. Yeah, because <clears throat> at one point he pulled ahead, but then Cosmo beat him like right at the end. Oh yeah, did we, did we mention that uh, Amber from Game Girl was 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 on air? That's Ego Raptor. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh! I never knew he was Ego Raptor. I always called him Aaron. Yeah, I know a couple of those guys that were on there are like well-known speedrunners. Yeah, that's what I was because I was in a call with a friend of mine and he actually recognized some of the runners like a trihex <clears throat> trihex sinister cosmo 
Um, I forget. Is John Numbers a uh, speedrunner? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I know Cosmo is because I did see him did did a speedrun of Wind Waker HD at Awesome Games. I, Done I hear quick. I hear that he's actually a he's um a big uh, like Zelda runner. He is. Yeah. Hmm. That's how that's oh, no. how I got this uh sell the speed run in the awesome games done quick. Hmm. Uh the there Mario was, Kart was... <laughs> The Mario oh. Kart round and that was like that was mean. <laughs> Cause they had the race on two hundred CC. Yeah, they were they're pretty damn good too. Um, I think the second round was better than the first because everyone just kept crashing into walls repeatedly. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I could I could um, so that's more of the game's fault because it's way too fast. Oh, uh, I want to say it's too hard. It's just that uh, you really gotta know the whole course. I mean, you really have to know it because you. <laughs> we also gotta just know when to break at the right time because, like, there's just yeah. times where the drift isn't gonna save yeah. you. Yeah, you're going really fast, so you gotta be ready for anything. <laughs> yeah. But then Mario Maker was the final round. That was intense. Yes, it was. It looked amazing. Except at oh, the I... end. Except at the end, at the final round, because freaking John Numbers crushed Cosmo at the at the final match. Yeah, he did. I'm like, there's no way he's catching up. <laughs> no, but did you see the way that John was flying through that? Yup. Mm -hmm. He was blazing through that shit. Then my stream <laughs> fucked up. I had, to, I had to rewind it. But yeah, so yeah, John Numbers won the championship, so congratulations, man. You were... You, Earn that. <clears throat> but did you see those three eight bit Bowser's in that one room? I think that was sixteen bit, but yeah, that was like whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I, I jumped on my saying like, holy shit, little sixteen bit Bowser's. <laughs> I thought who 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 ran in that room? Was that Cosmo? I think it was. I thought he was gonna die from that. Yup, but he did. Cause you have three Bowser's stacked on top of each other, and they're all breathing fire. <laughs> 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 so I was like, "Oh shit, he's gonna die!" And then he got out really quick. I'm like, "Oh, oh yeah, god!" And this one guy had he, he had to sit sit blindfolded so he so he won't know what's going yeah. on. Yeah, they had to sit blindfolded um, when one of them was going, but then the final one was a race. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, um, I mean, watched a lot of reaction of it. But um, but it, it was a four hour. Okay, now here's the here's the big question. Do you think that that Nintendo should make this an annual thing for each E3? Yes. Uh, yes, Al? Possibly. I mean, because that was huge, and just... I don't think we should keep waiting 25 years for each new championship. I mean, this shit was just a ton of fun to watch. I'm, yeah, sure, it'd even be, I, I'm sure it'd be even more fun to actually participate well, this is my first time watching a championship game from Nintendo since. Well, the the last one they had was back in 1990, and that was 25 years ago. Yeah, I even had cable back then. <laughs> Celtics, were you? You were like, how old were you? Like three? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you, three year old you wouldn't care <laughs> about yeah. seeing that. Well. well but but they but they still didn't have cable when I was three. <laughs> I do not have cable. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't get cable until I was like fucking five. <laughs> oh my god! Two years later. Oh no. <laughs> but um, I think they should make this annual because that was just that was a ton of fun and you know just yeah. You know, if they do it annually, then that gives that gives everyone a chance to you know try and participate in that, you know, actually be the world champion, basically. Yes. That that Mario trophy looked badass, by the way. Yeah. Why don't you participate I will agree with, in... I will, I will agree with in a, what? Why, why don't you participate in next time? No, if there is another one, then I'm going to try. Yeah. That'd be, that'd, that'd be cool to make it to the, to actually make it to the finals and actually be a part of that. Yeah. You know, so if they do it again, and I'm hoping to God that they do, then I'm totally gonna try for it. <laughs> but um, shit, what was I saying? I. Right. Oh, um, that oh. podcast I was watching. I'm totally gonna agree with them. It should have been a championship belt. 
Uh, I guess that that wouldn't hurt. But um, the trophy's cool. Yes. But, uh, <laughs> let's go belts. <laughs> All right, but on to the uh, digital event. All First right. Showed off was Star Fox. Oh hmm. my god, it looks incredibly amazing. And Raza, you need to hurry up and get get back here because we really want to hear your thoughts on it. He didn't even did he even say where he was going. He just said BRB. Damn. But I, I have to say, but the the grab race on Starbox Zero was was incredibly amazing. Um, like, about as good as you could get with um, you know, s starship models and everything. But the game looks really good. Wow, just in time. I just just in, why is it just Star Fox Zero thoughts go? Oh, Star Fox Zero. Oh, we were just I was just waiting for him to get back. First of all, the graphics are beautiful. It looks amazing, and so, I believe some people were talking about that the, the graphics look kind of like not the best. I just want to say, screw you guys! I want you guys to think. <laughs> Those graphics look fantastic. Yes, yeah, someone said that. Well, we used, well for we used to Andrews, I think really someone good. said that that it, it could be better like the PS4. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine, like it is. Well, that's just people not realizing that the Wii U doesn't have the same hardware as the PS4. Um, you can't really, you can only push that thing so far. An interesting thing I did like about the R Wing was uh, now you can apparently uh, use it to walk on uh, land. Yeah, they brought that over from Star Fox 2, actually. I had no idea about that. I never played Star Fox 2. It never came over here, that's why. Yeah, the and, oh yeah, I forgot time. about that. The WAM's out, though, so you can play it if you have an enemy. Yeah, I never knew that. I thought, that's so cool. But yeah, they they brought the, the they had that walker in there, and so they brought it into this, and it looks it looks okay, at least. Uh, hmm. I noticed they have, like, a, a hover, like a... A special kind of uh, aircraft they're using. Yeah, it's like some kind of like hovercraft. Yeah, thing. bringing out a robot to uh, carry something for you. <laughs> they also brought back the Landmaster, which looks <laughs> good as ever. And then it can transform. Oh, the transform? It, it yeah. basically becomes this like really bulky ass R Wing. <laughs> I actually kind of missed that part. But, um. I saw, I saw uh, the Landmaster <laughs> using it's, um, a ball it's called like Scrap Worm or something. I don't know, but um, it was some kind of machine level that world there. It looked really cool, though, in truth. Um, what was I saying? <clears throat> uh, damn it! <laughs> I don't remember what I was gonna say. Let's see. But uh, oh, I was gonna talk about the reticle and like aiming. Oh yeah. yeah oh yeah. So uh, they got to the gamepad. They got some new kind of aiming now for you to do, and uh, there are uh, someone's on your tail. Well, basically, it's a complete like free aim thing. Mm-hmm. Like you can move it anywhere, but the thing is, they're using the gamepad to do it because you have a first-person like cockpit view from the gamepad. Oh, uh, okay. But I think you can map that so that you're using the, uh, the right stick to aim it. I think. I mean, I'm kind of hoping they do that because, you know, it's, it, at one point it's going to be a pain in the ass constantly tilting the gamepad everywhere. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Oh, by the way, uh, the beginning of that event, the Muppet thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, wait, I was like, what the hell? I thought that was funny, but then they started turning into the Star Fox characters. I'm just like, Wait, wow. What? <laughs> That's how I thought that Nintendo was going to win <laughs> when when I saw that. It was interesting, because last year they did Robot Chicken, now they're doing Muppets. Yeah. Sorry, I'm back in. Uh, I thought that uh, Miyamoto and, uh, uh, not Miyamoto, but uh, Awada and, uh, what's his name? Brad, he was going to was gonna like fight again. <laughs> yeah, that, that fight scene was epic last year. That was really awesome. Yeah, it looked like DBZ fighting. Oh yeah, <laughs> last year. 
And don't forget, and don't, and don't forget about this whole "I'm gonna kick your ass" scenario. Speaking of <laughs> that, was... what about when Reggie and what's his name kind of fought each other and smashed her in the end of the World Championship? Oh, that. We, we were talking about. We were just talking about that. No, um, at the Nintendo World Champion. Oh. Uh, basically, a, basically, a tournament player fought Reggie, and Reggie just sucked. <laughs> yeah, he he eventually ate his own words. But obviously, we know this is a facade because Reggie, it, it, Reggie's a god of everything, don't you know? At least, at least Reggie said he sucks at, at a Smash. He wasn't lying. No, no, it's a facade. He's hiding his true power. <laughs> he was playing as Ryu. <laughs> <laughs> So what's next? Okay. Um, I don't, I don't know. What did they show off next? Okay. Uh, they did show the Mario Luigi oh. Paper Jam. Oh, that. That, okay, I'm gonna say, that I'm gonna looks say like right it could be good. It looks interesting. Right, oh, go ahead, Celtics. I'm gonna say right now, why a Paper Mario crossover? It's interesting because they're, you know, I was looking for the Paper Mario series, but they're. In the Mario Luigi series mixed in with Paper Mario, so so that was a I, bit of rumor. I think it could work. Well, at I, least the rumor was half true. It li- then. I think they could work. Or kind of misleading. I think they well, could. No, I'm saying half this. true because Paper Mario's in the game. It's just not a complete Paper Mario exclusive thing. They basically just crossed over worlds from Mario and Luigi with. Uh, Paper Mario. Yeah. As I saw, like, Princess Peach as a paper version of this, I'm like, oh, hmm. wait, Paper Mario? But then they show, like, Mario Luigi all bulky and such. Hmm. And then they're like, oh, wait, this is different. They're doing a crossover or something. At the very least, at least they're not bringing in the sticker gameplay again. No, thank goodness. <laughs> but the combat system's basically running exclusively off of, um... Mario Luigi. Mario and Luigi, but I don't have a problem with that because that combat system works. Yeah, that works fine. It's just but I'm nice... kind of wondering how they're gonna use Paper Mario because you know, is like is he gonna have his own button? He has his own button <laughs> and uh, ability when he uh, when he did some of his attacks in battle. Well, I was asking that because you know Mario's A, Luigi's B, so I'm like, is he gonna is Paper Mario gonna be like Y or something? Uh, like Y or X, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, the, th- this could turn out to be uh, an interesting game. I kind of like that oh, um, paper Bowser and Bowser fighting themselves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, uh, and uh, Mario. They did. Um, oh, sorry. I was going to say they were also. They're showing, like, uh, collecting the paper toads and how paper Mario can be useful for uh, certain things that Mario Luigi can't do, and even against a boss oh, they- fight. They even showed that in the gameplay where, like, Luigi grabbed on the Mar- Paper Mario when he was a airplane to, like, avoid things. Yeah, they're showing on the P for on a boss side. They'll do it pretty good, though. So I think that's something to look forward to. Yeah, this could this could really turn out to be a good game. And, you know, maybe at some point we're get, or we'll get an actual Paper Mario. But I, I think this is an acceptable compromise. Uh, I think we have Nexus... Uh, Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. I'm not too happy about it because now we bring I, Mega Mushrooms. <laughs> I think this should have been a, a different Mario sports game. Like this should have been baseball, or this should have been Mario Strikers. I haven't played Mario Tennis in so long, so I might as well give Mario Tennis Ultra well, Smash here's a the try. Thing. Mario Tennis was on the 3DS too. I think that was oh. like World. World Tour, Power Tour, I forget what the name was. I forget what the subtitle was. Yeah. What was it? But it's like, it, it was the 3DS Mario Tennis. Um, I think it was Mario Golf World Tour, that's what you were No, no, about. no, Mario Tennis, like, Power Tour or something. Power Tour, yeah, that's it. But it's like, okay, we got that, so why do we need another Mario Tennis on the Wii U? Like, you should have did a different Mario Sports. I think this should have been Strikers or something, because Strikers... You know, is a fun game. Yeah. And, you know, so is baseball, but... um, Personally, between the two, I like Strikers more, but... <clears throat> yeah, I think Strikers would have been a 
better to see. Um, oh, yeah, that, was, that was one of your proper last plays, Ryza. Yeah, surprisingly. Um, the Legend of Zelda. When did, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that. That looks like it could be interesting. Yeah. Although, he's, although he's going to the next one, that's why I mentioned Legend of Zelda, the Triforce Heroes. Yeah, I was about to say, it, it skipped quite a few. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get to them, but, um. Uh. Yeah, that basically just looks like four swords, but only with, you know, three, because obviously Tri-Force heroes, you know, Tri-Three, so. Because Quad hmm. Force wouldn't make sense. And it's coming out in the late 2015 of this year, so that's pretty much... That's one thing I have to give Nintendo some credit for with this whole thing, is, like, at least they have games coming out this year, and, like, most of these other games that we've discussed are, like, next year. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, we're at least getting a lot of this stuff stuff this year so i mean i'm happy about that but um yeah triforce heroes looks like it could be good <clears throat> especially with the whole um you have different suits that do different things that's true mm-hmm. <clears throat> excuse me uh hyrule warriors legends we already knew that was coming yeah, i didn't uh, it's just uh that's hyrule- what you're- it's Hyrule Warriors on 3DS. 3DS, but they got two characters they added from the D- from uh, um, as DLC. That's about pretty much about it. Which yes, you can then it. transfer over to the Wii U. So I heard I heard you can also buy them separate, even though if you if you know you don't own the 3DS version. I heard nothing about that. Well, I hope it's true though. Oh, I forgot about the thing that was announced like day one. Uh, Earthbound Beginnings. Oh. Not into Earthbound. Not really a fan. I'm just trying to find out. Is Earthbound Beginnings Earthbound Zero? Um, yes. There you go. Basically, that was a Famicom game that never, supposedly never got over here. I don't know about that. So. Yep. I, which makes I you would... wonder if you're if if uh, Mother Three is ever gonna get onto the Wii U. Because that's what people really want, but I think people were still happy that, you know, <clears throat> at least Earthbound is getting some kind of acknowledgement, at the very least, by Nintendo. Yeah. Um, them Animal Crossing games. <laughs> uh, don't care. I like how with uh, the Wii U game, they're not even trying to hide that they want you to purchase the Amiibos. Oh my god. Like this is Oh yeah, a lot of people were bitching about that on Meverse. I didn't see much of that one. Uh, does it look okay? Yeah, it's okay. Like I said, and then we re- get Happy Home Designer on the 3DS. I mean, I don't know. I might pick that up. Just because I like building shit. So, yeah, you know, you're you're basically building the town and building things so, i mean that's my kind of thing i like building things isn't that the one with the cards the what the cards yeah they're pushing those cards and uh yoshi's woolly world we saw a lot of that this year yeah that looks yeah. uh that looks fun i mean i wasn't too thrilled about it at first but now it's uh i'm kind of looking forward to it and fun fact i, I kind of hated i hated that part in the uh, digital event where you had like um I think it was one of the devs but basically she was talking about like how the game's supposed to like make you like feel happy and good and it's like okay that's fine I just want to <laughs> yeah. just show me the game I don't care about this <laughs> it's like yeah the, you, it's like yeah you want to hug the game because it looks adorable but it's like could you show me the game instead of talking exactly Granted, it was nowhere near as bad as Square or EA's conference, but... Oh, speaking of that, uh, who remembers that um, those uh, Mar- those uh, Bowser and DK Skylander figurines? I do. Yeah. They really... Yeah, he, had, he, had a, he had a fucking... Bowser had a fucking armor on the, on the freaking Meeple slot. I didn't, know, I didn't know about this. Yeah, they're Wii U exclusive. Oh, me. 
obviously, because, you know, you can't push that kind of thing on the other consoles, because then lawsuit! I would say mid, too, because I'm not a big fan of Skylanders. What's weird about these things is that you can switch the dial, so that it goes between Amiibo and Skylander mode. Interesting. So it's literally a two-in-one figure, but... I mean, I'm, I'm, at least you don't have to buy it twice. True. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was gonna say that. Uh, I just I, I I just ordered a Kirby's Epic Yarn since I'm done to try out Yoshi's Woolly World. Epic Yarn's good, but um, just be just be warned, it is really easy, but it's still a good game. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if it's too easy. Uh let's see what else we got here. Oh, Fire Emblem Fates was there again. Something that something that you're hyped for. It looks good. I, I keep hearing this thing that's gonna be like two different games, and it's like I'm, I'm gonna be upset if it is. All right, two versions. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Why do we need two versions? Just give me two different paths in the game or something. But you know, I hate that. Oh, even wow. though I hate even though I hate that practice in RPGs, but you know, at least you know, at least I don't have to buy the game two times. That's that fucking Pokemon shit right How there. Is capture Oddish. <laughs> <laughs> Trade with somebody, <laughs> or hack your game. <laughs> if I was a Pokemon fan, if I want a Pokemon X and Y, I'll get them both. <laughs> Or you can just wait for Pokemon Z. Day. Or you can wait for Pokemon Z when that eventually comes out, because we know it's coming. <laughs> What's the, what do you think the Emerald release is going to be if they do that? So we have Omega Sigma Emerald. I don't know. <laughs> sure, why not? Um. Uh. Oh. SMT Crossfire Emblem. Uh, start talking. <laughs> Let it all out. Oh, the another bark, bar the, bark, the marketing's wrong. Still sounds. Oh like my me goodness! Too. Oh my goodness! The gameplay kind of reminds me of, of uh, Akiba's trip. Oh I'm wrong looking at. Oh gosh, damn it! No, not even close. Okay, from at what least I saw, not, from, at least what I saw from the gameplay, <laughs> it looks like it runs off the turn-based system. So at least I know how the game's gonna play. Gosh, so I'm fine with I'm fine with that. Yeah. The problem was the trailer. It's like, is this a freaking rhythm game or or a role-playing game? Because like the trailer was telling me something else than what it actually is. Mm. Run for it. So it's like uh, they they should have they should have done something different to actually emphasize that this is an RPG, not something else. Because I couldn't tell you that was supposed to be an RPG. I couldn't even tell you <laughs> that the Fire Emblem characters even looked like Fire Emblem characters because they got such radically different designs. Yeah, you was hyped for that game before it got before they showed the trailer. Here's the thing, there's nothing wrong with anime, but this thing looks way too anime. <laughs> yeah. It's just, I was getting rhythm game vibes from that. Like, this does not look like an RPG. Like, this looks like a, this looks like a, like a rhythm game. With Fire Emblem characters in it? Like, I couldn't even tell you that that was supposed to be Krom when they showed him. It's like, what's with the glowing eyes? Can I ask that? Why is his, why are his eyes glowing? I don't even know. It's like they're trying to make Krom into a demon or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. If it's good, it's good, but I don't know. The, the trailer was not convincing me that this was, you know, going to be like a really kick-ass RPG with like a really kick-ass story. It's just, I don't know. I'm getting different vibes from this. <laughs> Alright. Uh, at this point, the story's a concern for me, so... Oh, uh... It, ends up good, it ends up good. Uh, Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes, anything on that? Oh, we... we Discuss talked about that. 
Oh, I must have. I think I think he was at I think he was at BRB. Yeah. Oh, okay. I missed that part then. Uh, okay. then what's your thoughts? Uh, definitely different from what I'm expecting. I I was actually really hoping they were going to talk about Zelda Wii U, but they didn't really. So they said they wasn't going to talk about Zelda U. And but I mean, serious about um, it. the Wii U uh, for the th- for the three DS or I don't know if it's for three DS or the Wii uh, Wii U, but uh, it does look uh, interesting. Tri-for- Triforce Heroes is three DS. Okay, three hmm. DS. It does look somewhat interesting. I basically compared it to Four Swords, just you know, without a fourth character. Yeah, you're just playing as three characters. Uh, for, that like I said, I like uh, the I like the whole suit thing. I mean, that's different because the different outfits give you different abilities. That is pretty nice. <laughs> you show different reactions too while you're playing too. <laughs> it's kind of funny showing that off. We get uh, notes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else is there to talk about? Oh, see, Blade um, Chronicles X. I only saw the trailer, but, um, well, I, there was some gameplay in the trailer, too. I wasn't quite following the treehouse on that, but, um, I, I was getting some, um, Xenoblade 1 vibes from that, because at one point, I th- there was, like, some environments that actually looked like they could have come from, uh, the first game. Oh, uh... So it actually looked like it was... Actually looked like it was taking place on the Bionis, at least. Oh, we forgot to talk about this. Um, thanks, BS. So, uh, Metroid Prime Federation Force. Oh my god, that game is getting so much shit. Man, what's this? So there's a lot Holy of... Holy shit! 53,000 dislikes. Holy <laughs> fuck! Damn! What the hell? That game is catching so yeah, much... There's five- it's gonna lie, I hate. Five. Five thousand likes. And this, oh, this is this fucking uh, you a kid, you a squish, and they're all over again. <laughs> <laughs> wow, damn! I think it was gonna lie, I hate for that shit. It's a spinoff. Like, what's the what's the big deal? Oh, look at the look at the comments. Why this Nintendo? Why you do this to my baby Metro? You'll be missed. Crying. God damn it. Take a hit, Nintendo. Change the name or drop the game, cause this is garbage. Man. Well, let's go off that topic and get back to where we left off. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All that aside. Yeah. Uh, Holy fuck. Not sure what to think of the game, cause um, I don't. I, I guess it's like a. I heard it's like some kind of like multiplayer, sort of like team shooter. I mean, it could be good. Um, I like the blast ball thing. That looks fun. I think there was a... Was there a new Super Monkey Ball out now? Not that I'm aware of. I think I saw something like Super Monkey Ball DX or something. I didn't hear anything, so I'm not I, sure. I think I, just, I think I saw something like on a Nintendo channel for like maybe about like a minute or two of gameplay. So I think that's something to um, expect in another Super Monkey Ball game. Um, I didn't see this at the event. But um, Mario and Sonic at the Rio Olympic Games. Don't care. Don't well, really care about the Olympics games. Well, for me, like I said, I've only played the first one, which, uh, well, from what I already mentioned, was the, well, the worst. That one, that one for me, to me, was the worst, but it was the first attempt. Yeah. Oof. But it was still the worst. Um, but hey, we get two different kinds of football in this one. Fo- American football and football. Yes. <laughs> okay, this will be sure. <laughs> okay, now what's this Yukai Watch about? I don't think I'm ever seeing it. Yukai Watch. The hell? Yeah. Something about some spirits and basically, I, don't know, I heard a Pokemon comparison. I don't think I'm ever watching that in, in the digital event. I saw the trailer. Um, I don't know. I wasn't like terribly interested, but you know, who knows? It could be good. I might not care too much about it, so I watched it. And the funny thing is that that was the only time my stream didn't fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, no, it, it, it only fucked up during the Square conference because I bet you, I bet you, my and then knew my the, the Square Enix conference was gonna be terrible. 
You guys talk about the Shin Megami uh, Tensei Fire Emblem game? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to say this. I'm not saying that the game is going to be shit from the get-go, but the trailer just was not doing anything for me and just wasn't convincing me that this was an RPG. It looked, like I said, it looked more like a rhythm game, and that just that's not really... Oh, that's that damn Persona game that's coming out. Yo, know, someone actually compared it to Persona. Oh, gosh. Like, they're like, this looks more like Persona cross Fire Emblem. I've seen a little bit of Persona. Uh, thanks, Brian Scratch. And um, I can kind <laughs> hey, of what? agree. With, I can kind of agree with that. But you know, like I said, I, I at least know how the game's going to play. But I don't know. I'm 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 concerned about the story at this point. Like, how's that going to play out? But I think one of my issues with it, also from what I've noticed, is like, you know, you're basically crossing over something that's more modern talking about persona there was something that's supposed to be in a medieval like sort of like european fantasy style ah. so it's like i don't know that just doesn't seem like it would clash very well to begin with so i don't know like i said if it's good it's good i'm still gonna end up playing it at some point but i i, I don't know i'm kind of getting some mixed feelings about this one now Okay. Uh, what else we got left? Let's see. Well, we would say Super Mario Maker, but uh, I believe we talked. We already said some info about it. Doing it's the, basically uh, just you know, develop your own levels, basically. Yeah. Uh, from what we heard, uh, they the four levels that they did create on there. Uh, yeah. They weren't going to add that to the Super Mario Maker uh, English. Uh, they're going to add uh, four levels that uh, were made on there. They're going to add those to it. So the ones that we saw at the World the, Championships are going to be on there? Yes. Yes. Yeah, they're going to add those to the Super Mario Maker game. Sweet. And now we can see if we can beat John Numbers' time. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah. I hardly doubt I'll buy it. Oh, well, I, I guess given enough practice, we probably could. I, but... Does it come around September, I think? September 11th yeah. on a tragic day. Way to, way to go, Nintendo. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna save up my money for that. I'm gonna go pre-order when I get the chance. I am gonna buy it. You know, it does look I'm fun. Still, I'm still gonna call it Super Mario Kaizo Maker. Yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> you can do it for our channel, and we'll see how you do. Yeah, have fun torturing yourself. Uh, the rest of us are gonna go play uh, not torturous levels. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> see, he, he's gonna do it too. The rest of us are. The rest of us well, are going to go. Be an idiot then for trying. The rest <laughs> of us are going to go retain our sanity while you, uh, you know, squander yours on playing Kaizo levels. <laughs> uh, what else? What else was there? Hey, oh, they're the they doing more Smash, but that was more for the DLC, DLC showcase. Like for you. I think we pretty much covered everything. Yeah. Yep, we did. Um. I, I guess overall the whole event, the whole E3 event was just kind of underwhelming, on like yeah. all on all fronts. I had a few I had a few mixed reactions though. Because <laughs> you know like, EA and um, Square those were just boring as shit. Yes, it was. The damn it's like shit. the other conferences they were, I think. <sighs> okay, top ones for me are Nintendo and Bethesda, and I'll get into that in a second. But um. You know, Sony and Microsoft, solid conferences, but nothing that interested me completely. Bethesda, really, really good conference. And then, you know, Nintendo, yeah, they didn't have, like, the pop, I guess. You know, they yeah. didn't really have anything that was, that was really, like, the, um, you know, like, bam, titles you must own. Like, it didn't have, like, that same, like, like that... I don't know, yeah, that nope. same sort of pop they had last year because they showed a lot of shit we weren't expecting. Like, a lot of this, we already knew it was coming. Yeah. And no, there's no Mario Galaxy 3, like everyone hoped for. Nah, I mean, nice that it actually was. Yeah. Hell, but, even uh, a second Mario Sunshine would be nice. But, um. I well, I don't know about a second Mario Sunshine, to be honest. 
I wouldn't just, mind it too much. I'm just, I'm just in the galaxy more than more than sunshine. Galaxy is just better designed, it's, but uh, it's just it's just it's just the bullshit. It's just it's just it's just all the bullshit. So you have to do in sunshine, like the fucking watermelon, and get all the fucking blue coins and the red coin challenges. Cause goddamn. Well, so okay, well to be it. to be fair, red coins are in almost are in a lot of games. Worst red part easily. It. Worst part of that was the blue coins. Yeah, because they put them in certain places where it can be a tall pain in the ass to get. Yeah, it'd be really easy to find too. And they, and you have to be quick to get those blue coins, otherwise it will disappear and you gotta start over again. But easily the best thing about this E3 was the Nintendo World Championships. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm really hoping that they bring this back as an annual, you know, E three thing, because that just that was amazing. It was just a joy to watch and it it'd be sad. even more of a joy to actually try and participate in that, so yeah, hoping that that happens. We get it every year, but we'll just see what happens. Yes. If it was that popular, they should definitely keep it. Uh, they should keep it going. Yeah. All right. So, what are your guys' thoughts on the whole on the whole thing? I thought. Uh, I mean, I didn't really get to see much of the conferences, but the Nintendo Treehouse did show some. Did give me some ideas on what I. I may want to get ahead ahead of time for this year. Even though I didn't watch that all the way through, I am glad they brought the Treehouse back because it was basically, and, again, nonstop gaming from Nintendo. And Nintendo World Championship, yeah, definitely bring it back again. Do it, yes. do it yearly because it was that amazing. You need to keep that stuff going again. Or if you want to continue the Smash Fest, you can... It's up to you. I also enjoy the Smash Fest. <laughs> but do it with, but do it when they when they get new characters. Uh BSO, any final thoughts? Nintendo World Championship was awesome. No said then. Uh, I'm that, that, starting to get a little sleepy right now. That's okay. <laughs> we're we're, we're wrapping right. it up. Uh Celtics, what about you? What's your thoughts on the whole E three? Huh, let's see. I I pretty much enjoyed Nintendo and Sony's more than the rest of the conference, including the uh, world champions. Oosh. All right. Well, I already said my thoughts. I I ended up starting yeah. it. I guess we're done then. So so uh, yeah. are we in agreement that um, Nintendo was our favorite this year? Absolutely. Yes. Indeed. You know, some of my friends thought that Nintendo's conference was the worst. Sorry guys, it was not. Nintendo I was actually pretty damn. That was if, that was far from their worst conference, dude. You if, want the, you want them at the worst? Go look at past E three. Some of those are bad. <laughs> True. But. Even if even people on Me First were bitching how, how disappointing the Nintendo conference was. I mean they look, did I mean fine. At le- y'all got Mario Maker at least. And got, Star Fox okay. Zero. Yeah. I, I mean no, I mean I'm sorry y'all didn't get Mario Galaxy through like y'all hope or Paper Mario U. Beautiful Donkey Kong Burbank. Yeah. So I was reading so something that Nintendo was actually um, holding back I have received this year. A lot of comments uh, on, maybe the way on some of the stuff. Like they're AOS actually asking, waiting till next year to like, uh, I guess, really hit same things home. Who was in? I guess he's gonna get a few good stuff out now and then really get it all next year. Yeah. Really go all out. So if that's the just be happy. Just be happy with the games you're getting. Right. Well, I'm saying if that's the case, then I don't this think, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't think holding back is a, is exactly a, a wise move, but, you know, if that's the case, then hopefully next year is going to be, you know, like that really standout E3 for Nintendo. Right. Yes. Well, uh, guess I'll about do it, guys. Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed their our uh, opinions on E3 on the conference and Nintendo Treehouse and um, we'll see you guys when we do uh, E3 for next year yeah as far as this next kind year. of shit yeah so but <laughs> for now we'll be back to the business usual, as usual back to our usual back to our regularly scheduled playthroughs yeah by the game Sonic 06 DKC3 and uh, more from RE and BSL when the time comes Yes. Yeah. So until then, later, folks. Later. later. later.